Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm excited for today's video because in today's video we do have something a little bit different for you guys. In today's video I will be talking you through uh, some different sports massage techniques that I tend to do with some of my clients. What we have in here in today's video I have Lamar with me and uh, he's a YouTuber and he also makes a lot of music in terms of rapping and singing so it'll be interesting to hear a little bit more about him. Guys, if it's your first time here, I would consider for you guys to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified of any more videos that I have coming up in the future and also comment down below, hitting that like button as well if you enjoyed the video. Guys, without further ado, let's get into the video. Yeah. Right, so, Guys, the, the idea of today's video, what I'll be doing is just kind of talking you through um, some of the different massage techniques that we can do. Um, like I say, he's just got into Muay Thai, uh, which is obviously a lot of punching, kicking, different types of things like that. So the idea is I'll be talking you through some of the different techniques I'll be doing, but also just talking to him as well. So it kind of, it's weird, it's gonna be kind of like a vlog type, uh, podcast type educational video, bit of a montage of everything, right? Uh, so we'll get into it. What I like to do, I've got some oil here, which is literally just grapeseed oil, so nothing too, um, nothing too fancy, okay? What I'm going to be start working on is working on his shoulder. So he's saying he's been having a bit of shoulder problem, which one specifically was it? I'd say it's more this one. Yeah, right hand one, yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. And whereabouts would you say? There, yeah, be sure you put Just it right on the, there's a click slide. Okay, so he's getting, a, he's getting a bit of a clicking sound literally just at the top yeah. around the ac uh, joint so it runs sort of around the, the, the acromion joint so what i'm going to do is obviously we're going to try to increase uh, some of the range of motion in there so what i'll do i'll loosen up obviously his anterior delts uh, also the lateral aspect and then obviously i'll get him to turn around and then we'll work on the posterior aspect of his shoulder so we want to make sure that he's getting perfect range of motion uh, in all planes of the shoulder because we know the shoulder is a ball and socket joint and it has the most uh, basically most range of motion that it can go into. So that is quite prone to injury, so we wanna make sure that that's nice and healthy uh, for him. So the good thing with massage therapy, uh, or the one thing with massage therapy is obviously you wanna always make sure you're communicating with uh, the client uh, to make sure that it's not painful or anything like that. So yeah, uh, let's, let's get into it, man. So Lamar, tell us, tell us a little bit about yourself, what you do, I briefly mentioned at the start, mm. uh, but I feel like you can get more of the conversation um, Kind of going, man. Yeah, I've been doing. I've been doing music for as long as I can remember. That's like, in fact, you know what? The first thing I actually got into was acting. Mm. I got into acting, like amateur dramatics, um, doing theatre work, and then sort of from there. Yeah. From there, we got into um, singing, and then I went into rapping from then. So yeah. I've just been doing music for as long as I can remember. Um, like probably when I was like sixteen, started making songs with my brother, 15, 16, and then from there just, from there literally just made, made some albums, put them out, solo albums, put them out, and it's just, from there obviously I've, I've, I've expanded, because I want to do loads of things, it's not, I've never really been someone to do just the one, just the one thing, I, I, I get bored quite easily. So do you do both rapping and singing, or? I do, yeah, I do rapping and singing, I do a bit of spoken word, um, I, write, I write scripts, um, I write stories. Um, I yeah. Now I've I've got into my my vlogging, my YouTubing, mm -hmm. and I just wanted to. I just, all aspects of creativity. I love it. Every every part of creativity. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's 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 me, man. So would you prefer rapping or singing? Do you know what? Yeah. It's like I've I feel like I've made like a a mix yeah. of the two. So I won't even say. I fully sing or I fully rap anymore. Mm -hmm. It's it's almost like melodic rap that I do. So if you listen to my songs now, mm -hmm. they they are they're more um, melodic melodic rap. Okay, that's my way of doing it. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can feel that. That's crazy. Yeah, it's so kind of tight in here. So literally right in, right, get, trying to get right into the the, the, the AC. Yeah. Um, and then obviously just kind of loosen it off uh, a bit as well. You can feel it, feel it tight there. Yeah, so I can feel like kind of little bits of knots in that. Man. Yeah. And you can feel it in there as well, innit? Yeah, yeah, I can feel yeah. it. Yeah, let's see. It's like loosen, I can feel like 
loosening almost. Yeah, so I'm literally just doing a little bit of trigger point. Um, we're just holding on the tight spots mm. at, until obviously it kind of releases off. Because sometimes what happens is, yeah, it's yeah, mad. yeah. Cause sometimes you can get little micro tears and stuff that causes a little bit of scar tissue. Mm -hmm. So it's just trying to break it up a little bit as well, mm -hmm. and just to kind of increase that range. How old are you now? You say you started when you were like sort of 16, 15? Yeah, I'm, I'm 24 now, mm -hmm. 25 on Sunday. Wow. So I'm, it's, it's, it's mad because I was speaking to, speaking to my girlfriend about options because obviously I'm 25. I want to I wanna be in a certain place. Mm -hmm. um, and I, did, I didn't, I didn't picture myself being overweight, mm -hmm. sort of thing. So it's getting to that age where it's like, it's do or die, man. We've got to, we've got to get into a, a good shape. Yeah. So that's why I've sort of got into the vlogging and got into the fitness. Okay. Like, literally fitness sort of started the vlogging. I wasn't vlogging before at all. Mm -hmm. I thought people would, might want to see that journey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I decided to film film everything. Well, you, would you say you was always an active person in terms of like, your the fitness aspect of things. No. No. Nah. What made you decide to get into I used to be I used to be quite active. I used to do the football, the rugby, all of that when I was in school. Yeah. So since I stopped school, it um it like went for me, man. I, I was I was not active at all, man. <laughs> I was um I, I wasn't active at all because I was I was um sitting on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting in the studio. Yeah, the couch potato. Yeah, there. do you know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. you know when you're young, you don't, you don't put on weight that much. Mm, so mm. even when you're sitting on the couch and you're young, it's, it's calm. you still got the little six pack there. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it just slowly went away. <laughs> and then I looked to the mirror one day and it's like, whoa. <laughs> Who's this guy? That's crazy, man. Yeah, trust me. Yeah. Trust so me. that's the thing, man, because sometimes it's so weird because it, it's like it creeps up on you, isn't it? Uh -huh, uh -huh, you know what I mean? So. And um, I always find that sometimes that's a... That's the hardest thing because you sit back and you're like, where did it all go? Like, Do you know what I mean? You know, I couldn't remember. It's like, it's like one minute you're thin and then mm. all of a sudden it's like the weight just... It's like, it's almost like, it's almost like if you're with someone every single day, mm -hmm. you don't see them put on weight, you don't see them lose weight. But it's the minute you go away from them for what, a week, a month, and they're either, if they're active and they're losing weight, you'll see, whoa, you've lost loads of weight. Yeah. Do you yeah, know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, obviously I don't live with my mum no more, so... She sees me now since I've been active. Yeah. And she's like, "Whoa, you lo you've lost loads of weight." Yeah, yeah. But then yeah. my my girlfriends don't really see it. Yeah, yeah. So it's sort of like that. Like it just it just happened over time. Like it's a scary thing. I've been telling my little brothers now. They need to they need to get ahead of it. Mm -hmm. and don't want to be working it off when it's when it's when you're too heavy. Okay. Yeah. Because it's it's a lot of work. Fitness wise, what you what you into right now at the moment? Fitness. I'm doing I'm doing um MMA. At MMA. Sparta gym. Okay, wow. So, MMA is mixed martial arts for anyone who don't know. Yeah. That's from wrestling, that's mad as well. Wow. So that's from wrestling to um, jiu-jitsu we did tonight, um, to, to Muay Thai, um, to just straight boxing. So I've, I'm, I've been doing it all. Like I've sort of jumped in the deep end. Mm. Like there was no, there was no mercy for me on my first day, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> I had to just get get through that pain. Yeah. You know how it is, though. Trust like, me, man. If you haven't been working out for a while, mm -hmm. when you get into it, it's, yeah, it's a mad one. So why why MMA? Out of everything you can get get into your boxing, rugby, football, table tennis, squash. It's, why MMA? It's mad because um, I think fitness is part and parcel like. You have to enjoy it, what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Like for you, your thing might be because obviously you're bodybuilding, you love that. Mm -hmm. With me, I tried jogging and I hate jogging. I hate it. Yeah. I tried I tried football, I just don't like football. I don't really like it. Yeah, yeah. But I love fighting. I love it. Were you one of those fighters at school? Yeah, I love Always fighting. Into fight. <laughs> Always into fighting. I love fighting. <laughs> I love it. Always loved it. Yeah. So it's like, if, if I'm learning, also, oh my days. Yeah. That's a mad one. Yeah, because obviously up, up in the upper chest, obviously it attaches yeah. to the to the shoulder. So sometimes when you have got a tight shoulder or shoulder mm -hmm. injury, you sometimes re releasing off the pecs. Yeah, yeah. And um, does obviously give your shoulder quite. Was it tight there as well? You can feel that. Well, you tell me. You yeah, can feel it, I it, felt, it? yeah, yeah, I felt yeah. that. Hundred percent, I felt that. The <laughs> <laughs> fighting was something that I I, I enjoyed anyway. Mm -hmm. So getting into it and learning how to do it properly now. Yeah. It's like it's um. It's a whole different story, so uh, yeah, 
it's just, it doesn't really feel like, although it's hard still, it doesn't really feel like I'm working out, like it's a chore, you know what I mean? It yeah. feels, I'm excited to learn what's next. Yeah, definitely. Now, how long have you been doing it? Um, so I've been doing this for a month and a half just now. Okay. That, that don't sound long to nobody, but anyone who knows me, I don't stick at that stuff for long. Like, when I've been doing, I started doing the jogging and that. Yeah. And I stopped very quickly, do you know what I mean? So, but, a month and a half is long for me. <laughs> was that because of uh, fitness related, or you find that you're a person that don't stick to... Me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's, there's only certain things I stick to. When I really like something, I'll, I'll stick to it. Yeah. See, like music, I've always done music and I yeah, stay yeah. at that. But I, I do find it hard to stick at things that I'm... That I'm more obligated to do rather than, rather than um, kind of doing, doing it out of yeah enjoyment. Mm. I found fitness was one of those things. It felt more like an obligation, yeah, rather than something I was enjoying. So yeah. I mean, let, let's touch on that a little bit. You say you felt mm. obligated to do the fitness. Mm -hmm. What would you say is kind of like the, the the main reason for you kind of getting into to the, so, to the fitness aspect of things? So before I, it was weird because. Before, I just, it was like, I, I started, okay, so I started doing these vlogs, what, five months ago now, yeah? Mm -hmm. And I, I started the job, I started the vlogs doing jogging. Yeah. And because it was one day, it was like an aesthetic reason, I looked in the mirror and I didn't like the way I looked. Yeah. I was like, yo, yo, you got fat. So I named this vlog, it's called, I'm sick of being fat, because that's what I said to mm. my brother when he was down. I was like, I'm sick of being fat, you know, I hate it. It was more of an aesthetic reason. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that was enough for me to stick at it. Yeah. So I did it for a little bit and then stopped as as, as I said before. Yeah. So I, wow. I did it I did it for me and then I stopped. And then it wasn't until I went online and I um searched up my BMI, because my mum's a nurse and she she was saying, you you you're getting a bit on the larger side, like have you checked your BMI? Mm. Um so I went online, I checked my BMI and it said I'm critically critically obese wow and it was um it come up with this alert on there i don't know if you've done it on the nhs website mm -hmm. but they said lose 13 pounds immediately yeah you are at risk of having a heart attack at any time that's what they said at any time so I, 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 how did that make you feel oh it, my, i sunk my whole honestly like it was weird feeling like my whole body sunk Oaks, right because mm. i'm thinking i've just had my son now Mm. He's a year old now. Okay, well. And my whole body sunk because I'm thinking if I was to have a heart attack and dead now, my son's not even gonna know who I was. He's not gonna know. He's not gonna know who I am. And that's a mad prospect to me. So now it's different. Mm -hmm. It's like it's a must if you get what I mean. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, a yeah, must. Yeah, yeah. Like there's no other way about it. When I'm sitting there, I feel like. I could have that at any time. I yeah, need to yeah, get this yeah, weight yeah, off, yeah, yeah, yeah. like ASAP. And you feel, that, yeah. that, that can't, that can't run, obviously. Mm. My son, I need to see him graduate, get married, have kids, have grandkids. You know what I mean? Mm. I can't have it. I'm 25. I can't be having a heart attack. Yeah, wow. So, yeah, man, it's, it's a must now, isn't it? Like, so it's, a lot of my friends were like, because they, they know I'm, I'm a sort of person that will do something and stop it. Mm. They're coming to me, they're like, well, Mom, I'm surprised you're still doing this, you know? I was like, yeah, because it's, it's a must now. It has to be done, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that that's kind of like what what keeps you going. Keeps me hundred percent. Keeps me yeah. going. Keeps me keeps me active. Keeps me doing it, as well as enjoying it and yeah, yeah. And learning and things like that. But yeah, it's it's got to go now, isn't it? It has to. And it's going well. I've lost four kg so far just from wow. doing this. Just from doing this for a month and a half. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So I'm yeah. gassed, man. Yeah, definitely, man. No, that's bro, that's so good, man. Because yeah. the thing is, I find when when people don't have a reason, mm -hmm. like when people don't have a why for, cause I, I do personal training as well. Mm -hmm. So when people don't have a why or reason for why they're doing what they're doing, mm -hmm. they don't last. And Ox, that's, that's, that's the same with, with everything if you think about it. If you don't have a why for why you're going to work, you're not going to be motivated. If you don't have a why for when you want, you want to be a millionaire, if you don't have a why for that, you're not going to become a millionaire. Mm. I feel like it's for everything. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Even down to having a kid, if you don't have a why, like you got that why you love it's the love the unconditional love why you, why you're still there yeah do you know what I mean so it's wow uh, nah. it's definitely the why is important yeah nah I've definitely rate that man that's so wow, that's so sick yeah. you know that's a that's a proper strong why as well do you yeah, know what I mean like, it is the strongest why do you mm. know what I mean I gotta be here for my son that's unfair on him do you know what I mean so mm. in terms of like your 
your music? Mm. Where where are you at with with that at the moment? So I've um I've taken a little um I've taken a little break from the music, mm -hmm. and the reason for that is I wanna um I feel like I've told my story where I'm at now, and I, I think in music a lot of a lot of this you can be the best musician in the world, but if you're not showing progress in your life, people fall off it. Mm -hmm. And that's that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to, I've, I feel like I've explained a lot of where I'm at, yeah. but not where I'm going. Mm. So I need to start on that journey where I'm going and then get back onto the music thing to to show people the, the progress that I'm, that I'm moving on. Yeah. So that I've, I, I, I love music, I make music every day, don't get it twisted. I'm making songs in the shower every single day. Mm. But I haven't been releasing yeah. less of music, but yeah, man. Have you always been a creative person? Always. Yeah. I remember back in the day, like I would, um, me and me and my brother Devon would rush downstairs because we made a little, a little play for my mum or something. We'd come, run downstairs and be like, "Look, we made this play. Can we perform this for you or whatever?" Always been creating. There's always been something that I've, I've been good at. Like I've, I can think, think um, creatively. Yeah. Even if it's in the vlogs or if it's in um, music or rapping or whatever. Have you had much acting? You said you did, did a bit of acting. I used to do acting in school. I, I'm I'm in the process of actually getting back into it. Yeah. Um, doing films. Okay. Yeah, I love acting, man. Acting's a, a, a passion of mine. Probably my first love mm. before music. It's mad. It's relaxing. It? But I didn't um, I didn't I didn't think of that until the other day. Yeah. That that acting is actually my first love. Cause that's what I was doing before any of the, the music or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, nice. It's actually hard to relax your arm, isn't it? It's <laughs> yeah, because the thing is, you know, a lot of people walk around really tense. Yeah. So, like, it's usually one of the hard, like one of the things I have to say to people quite a bit, like, mm -hmm. relax, because like, a lot of people hold tension yeah. all the time. From, I'm doing it now. Like, yeah, I'm from stress it. and that. Like, and, like, some people are like, I can't relax. And I'm like, <laughs> it's, I'm like, it's a lot, of, a lot of tension that people tend to hold. That's crazy. Um, all the time, do you know what I mean? So, is that why you get knots then? Yeah, I mean, because obviously what happens is the muscle's in a position that it shouldn't be. Do you okay. know what I mean? It's in, it's, in a, it's in a compromised position, do you know what I mean? So, yeah. yeah, say for example, people who are driving all the time, they're driving like this all the time. Yeah. And because they're in that fixed position for such a long uh -huh. time, where there's this aspect of muscle memory, the muscle will think, well, that's in its normal position. Normal place. Okay. And that's not where it's supposed to be. So obviously the muscles, the muscle fibres are going to get tangled. Yeah. And then that's what's gonna happen. Do you know what I mean? When when they get tangled, that's how knots get created. Man. And obviously, as the kind of like the neurons and stuff in the muscle comes together, mm. that's what obviously why you tend to get like pain and stuff. That's and, crazy. And dysfunction man. within it. Yeah, man. The you thing is, think about that stuff. You, do you? you you know, and a lot of people think, oh, you know, mass sports massage is only for sports people. But the reality is, you think almost any profession. You're in a compromised state, whether you're a desk yeah. worker, yeah, yeah, of you know, especially nowadays with technology, people on their phones all the time, mm -hmm. you know, head forward all the time, head down, watching mm -hmm. their phone, you know, muscles are going to get weak, muscles are going to get tight, do you know what I mean? So, it's crazy. yeah, that's kind of, that's definitely kind of the idea. So, like, right now, what I'm kind of doing is a bit of a myofascial release uh, in this, in this in pectoral muscles in the upper chest. So, kind of pinning, pinning down and then obviously stretch release uh, at the same time. So it's definitely really good um, to kind of stimulate the muscle fibers with movement because obviously where these muscles obviously opens up the chest we want to obviously make sure we're getting a bit of an extra extra stretch really within shoulders and then obviously this will help a lot not just obviously open up his chest but obviously for his shoulders as well and obviously just increase Range of motion, increased blood flow wow. to the area. Wow. A little bit tight on this one. A bit tighter? Yeah, just a little bit. Not too much. So, what made you decide to get into the whole YouTube thing? Yeah, so it's um, I love, um, I love, I've always loved watching YouTube. Mm. And I feel like today's age, to, in today's um, in this era that we're in, YouTube's the new TV. So it's like mm. it's like I can have my own TV show for that's, free. That's crazy. It's, it's, it's crazy to think about it because 
I'm, I was talking to, again, I was talking to my girlfriend about this the other day. It's, it's, I don't watch TV no more. Mm. I don't watch TV. <laughs> I watch YouTube. That's it. And, 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 do you know what I mean? And I'm seeing everyone watching YouTube. My missus watch YouTube. My little brothers watch YouTube. Even my son. Mm. Wow, that one there, boy. Even my son um, is watching YouTube. Yeah. Wow. So, wow. That's a mad one there still. Yeah, so I'm, um, it's, it's something that I'll, uh, it's definitely uh, lucrative. Mm. But um, more, than, more than anything like that, money-wise, I've thought of money last, but I, I'm, I'm doing my um, fitness thing. Yeah. And I've always noticed with a lot of um, fitness channels, I noticed that when I'm going, if I searched up um, fitness exercises now, yeah. majority of the time you see a, a chiseled, ready, ready there guy <laughs> doing their thing. And I wanted to relate to the people that aren't there yet. Yeah. So then there's this whole catalogue of when I was fat, overweight, sluggish, slow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to, yeah, yeah. And then someone might catch me in 10 years when I'm doing YouTube, catch me chiseled, that guy. Yeah. But then they can go back to my first video and actually see where I come from. Yeah. And I think that would just be, I think it would just be wicked for someone. Oh, I'd love to watch that. Like, uh, when, I, when I have like a favourite YouTuber, I always go back to their first videos. I always go back to, um, to what they where they started, because I just love seeing it. Mm. Um, and I feel like it would be a good, for that exact reason, someone wants to go back and they'll see, they'll be like, oh my God, he ain't always been like this. Look at him there. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. My guy was, look at him there. Oh my God, do you know what I mean? So that's what I'm, that's what I'm um, aiming for. Although you're putting it out to no one really watching now, mm -hmm. you sort of get into, you, you get into that in the future. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, nah. I hear that, man. So what's like, what's your goals then? What's your, your, your you'd say your, your YouTube goals are? My YouTube goals is, is to just, uh, like, I feel like the followers and the subscribers and the likes and all that is, is going to be a byproduct of, of the journey. Mm -hmm. When people, are, as I said before with the music, people like seeing progress and, and moving forward with things. So I feel like I, my goal is not even on YouTube. My goal is is my body goal. Mm. Do you know what I mean I want to get to my body goal and be in a in a good place, and then once I'm there, that's when that's when I I would have hit my YouTube goal in a sense. Yeah. Yeah. And also it's like a tiny bit more. There you go. Fully relaxed. Yeah. Fully relaxed. You relaxed. Yeah. Relax. Fully relaxed. Yeah. That's it. Man. It's mad. And you, you think you're fully <laughs> relaxing or not? It's crazy. Yeah. And then it's like um. You can go even deeper than that, like when I can hit my life goals as well, like mm. where I want to be in, in the future and things like that. Oh, so give us, give us three, three of your life goals then. Um, I want, I want my my son. So, so relax, complete relax. Yeah, that's it. My goals has completely changed since I had a kid. Mm. I remember before, before it's weird because I was a different person. Mm. Before I had my kid, um, it was all about me, me, me. I want to be a millionaire before I'm 30. I want to have a house. I want to have some successful businesses. They're good. I still want that, but it's it's, it's the the aim of those things have changed. I wanna I wanna have a million pounds so that my son has all the opportunities in the world to win. I wanna have a house so he can have a house when when I when I'm gone. Mm. You know what I mean? I wanna have yeah. a business so when he, when I'm gone he has that. Mm. So my, my my life goals is just having having my son have everything, he, not everything he wants. Mm -hmm. I don't want him to be spoiled, but I want I want him to have the opportunity to yeah. get everything he wants. Yeah, because with all those things come opportunity, sir. So yeah, definitely. That's that's literally it. Okay. It's almost like I don't really care about me no more. I yeah. do, but I don't really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't I don't care about me no more. It's, it's more about everything for my son right now yeah okay definitely you know what i mean yeah yeah, yeah i hear that man. that's so that's so that's so real and honest isn't it because sometimes a lot of people you know if they're if they're being true and honest to themselves mm. you know a lot of people's goals are for themselves you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying mm -hmm. i mean so it's, it's it's good to hear that man it definitely sounds like obviously your son has a big 
Like, impact obviously on your life and the decisions Everything. and stuff that you make. My son saved my life, Hogs, man. Yeah. He saved my life, man. He said I was doing, going down the wrong path, for mm. real. I was going, yeah, getting into stupidness, getting into the wrong things. And then he came at a weird time, that was random. He came at a random time and it changed. As soon as I found out, it changed my um, perspective on life. As soon as I found out I was having a kid. Yeah. I started a business like, like yeah. three weeks later. I, um, I moved out of my mum's house, a cleaning business. Cleaning, yeah? yeah okay, yeah. wow. I moved up, moved out of my mum's house. Yeah. Got my own place. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Everything changed. It was mad. Yeah, I see. What I'm doing, you can see, right? Getting goose pimples and everything. Mad. Because what's happening? It's feeling bad. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I didn't so, want to say. So what's, what's, what's happening now? So obviously, I'm right on, on, on right into his, his, his muscles and his neck, all right? Getting into the sub, suboccipital muscles just under his ridge right here. So what I'm doing is I'm releasing those and as I feel the muscle release off, I'm coming in to the paraspinal muscles just there at the top of his neck and then literally just slowly dragging and, and releasing. What I'm also kind of doing in between is I'll find sort of the, what they call the facet joints in the cervical spine and all I'm doing is doing a facet release where I'm just holding in between there and again I can feel, literally feel his muscles releasing off in my hands wow. this is usually quite a difficult one because obviously people struggle to relax their necks because usually in stressful times people tense up their necks and right in here in his traps really tight so i'm obviously loosening off his neck and again what that will help is a lot of people suffer from headaches and stuff like that because obviously they're carrying so much stress in this area so what i'm doing is again just releasing all of that off and that will help release off some tension and pressure from his traps and also in the rear, rear delts as well so yeah definitely definitely want to definitely try it guys I'm telling you like this is probably the number one thing that I get as soon as I do this with any one of my clients right they request it like almost every mm -hmm. single session even if it's like 10 five minutes before the session because listen when you've suffered from like headaches and stuff for a long time tension headaches mm -hmm. listen like this is like Listen, wonderful. It does absolute wonders. That's what I'm saying. And like, like most of my clients say, like usually after getting this, they they sleep so much better that evening for the next couple of days. And also, it helps a lot with just range of motion in your neck. Because you know, a lot of people you think you're bending forward all the time mm -hmm. on your phones. So this these muscles are struggling to hold your neck back up into place. Usually, when people are stressed, these are usually the areas that tends to get tight. So again, I always try to throw these in, even just with like shoulder injuries, upper back injuries, and um, that people kind of struggle with. And it's kind of a problem with sleeping as well, you know, recently. Yeah, so no, I definitely. I'll let you know. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely let me know that, man. And then what I'll do is that again, holding the occipitals, and then what I'll always say, tell people just fully release your head. So I'm using the weight of the head, and people don't understand how heavy their head is, right? Head is so heavy, they, they don't understand. So by them giving me the weight of the head, that's causing the pressure to release off in the muscle. So I'm literally right, right at the base of his skull, right into that muscle there. Sometimes, like you get some people like, so what I can sometimes do, get my thumb, place it in the base of there, and then just maybe a tiny bit of pressure because it could be a little bit tender for some people. And what some people say is they can feel it running into the head, running into their eyes. I feel it there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do you know what I mean? So that's usually a uh, trigger point release in that area, but I'm telling you, like, when, when that muscle releases off, man, your head feels like a million times lighter, but yeah, no, definitely. So yeah, I just thought I'd throw that in, man. But I'd throw that in uh, right there. Hello guys, and I'll be wrapping up the video right there. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hit the like button if you liked the video. Comment down below if you want to see more of these videos in the future. And guys, if you haven't done so already, please do hit that subscribe button. If you want to know more about Lamar, his information is down in the description below. Be sure to go to his channel, show him some love on there. Guys, and until next video, I will speak to you guys soon. See you later. Love.